Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Bernoski, and I'm bringing back Story Hour, and I hope that you will enjoy it on this beautiful Friday afternoon. The story I'm going to read is called After the Fall. It is about Humpty Dumpty, which you may know of, and it was written by Dan Santant. It's a great story. I hope you will enjoy it. And thank you to Mrs. Isom for giving it to me. How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again. My name is Humpty Dumpty. This is my favorite spot high up on the wall. I know it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. Then one day I fell. I'm sort of famous for that. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It was just an accident, but it changed my life. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together again. Well, most of me. There were some parts that couldn't be healed and bandaged with glue. After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. Look at Humpty's favorite things. I walked past the wall every day and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really missed all the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it because I knew that accidents can happen. And we all know, boys and girls, that accidents can happen. So let's see what happens. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, an idea flew by. Take a look and see if you can tell what that idea was. So let's see what Humpty Dumpty is going to do. Making planes was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scrapes, but day after day, I kept trying and trying because he has grit, boys and girls, just like you. Until I got it just right. Look at that. How cool. My plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with birds. But, unfortunately, accidents happen. They always do. I almost walked away again, but then I thought about a time I spent working on my plane and all the other things I'd missed. I decided I was going to climb that wall. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it, but I was terrified. I didn't look up. And I didn't look down. I just kept climbing one step at a time until I was no longer afraid. I want you to think about a time that maybe you've done something like that and conquered your fears. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who was famous for falling. Hopefully you remember me as the egg who got back up. <gasps> oh no, accidents do happen. And he learned how to fly, or at least part of him. Look at that cool picture. This is a great book for the pictures and the story. And the back I love the most. Life begins when you get back up again. So boys and girls, a couple things about this story. It really gives you grit. Don't give up. Keep working hard on whatever it is you're trying to do. Schoolwork, sports, something at home. Just don't give up. Keep on trying. And also, maybe this weekend you can make a paper airplane and see how far you can fly it. 
Have a great day, boys and girls. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you back here on Monday. Be sure to get all your work done. Bye.